you help. I won't abandon you. You want me to go back to the beginning? To no. Arkham? Where it all started? No. I've come so far since then, Batman. Because of you. I'm trying to be nice I here. I believed in you, Batman. I wanted, I wanted to be your friend. Like I never believed in anything. And it was all a lie! Oh my god. Really? Oh my gosh, he actually did the th <laughs> It's Joker! <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> Try to help you here, man. Oh, this is bad. Really? <laughs> Why is he doing this? Calm down. That's enough. You're not going anywhere, man. Finally. 
guess that's it. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to be a hero, you know? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You will be. But I, I, I just can't. I know you used me. Sorry. I, I know. I should hate you for that. <laughs> but I, I don't. Because I, 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 I had such a good time with you, Bruce. Oh, is it because of the... Did, did you the dis, the, um, ever... Did you ever... The disease he has? As your friend. Me? No, I'm joking. Yeah, I did. Like, of course. Of course you were my friend. <laughs> you are one messed up guy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh gosh, what's going on? I'm in an ambulance. I thought you quit. Oh, uh, these? No, these are mine. What do you mean? I think the circumstances allow. Gordon was telling me how you found me. Sounds like top drawer detective work. It was a team effort. Batman led the charge. It's not easy to say this, but it looks like you saved my life. You're welcome. I guess that puts me in your debt. You owe me. And I will collect. Jim, would you mind giving us a minute? Mm-hmm. Batman and I have some unfinished business. Yep. Yeah. I'll go check on Joker's transfer. Make sure they don't take any chances. Just try not to rip each other's heads off, okay? We can all play nice now that the bad guy's in cuffs. Really? Joker's no longer a threat. Promise me you'll leave Agent Avesta alone. Fair. You don't have to worry. Our stalemate from the roof still stands. I'm pulling out of Gotham effective immediately. Mm. Then why are we still talking? Tiffany Fox. Riddler's death may have caused a lot of problems, but I won't make her pay for it. I'll leave that to the man who can't stand killing. I quit. I know you think I'm the devil, but I want you to understand. I didn't want... I didn't see things going down like this. I let the mission get out from under me. Never really regained a solid footing. Watch out, Waller. Or you might stumble onto an actual apology. You let me talk, we might get there. I just came here to round up the pact. Quick and easy. Mm -hmm. And if Riddler led you to Sanctus, that would have been a bonus. Listen. Everything I did, I did for the greater good. To protect Gotham, to uphold the law, to make the world a safer place. You did what you thought was right. I won't judge you. Uh oh, I'm not judging you. Maybe our paths will cross again in the future. Please, no. Maybe we can work together again. I don't want to. No, thank you. On equal footing, of course. I could see us accomplishing great things, Batman. Now that we understand. Hi. <laughs> Don't have time to talk. Feels good. I gotta go. Why am I here?
So it was her? Wow. She probably did it for revenge. Uh, I don't know, I'm mad at her. <sighs> Tiffany, <gasps> we need to talk. Mm hmm. Yeah, I figured. You're hurt. It's nothing. I saw you take much worse. Joker was going to cut Waller ear to ear. I had to create a distraction. It was certainly distracting. My confession. It took you by surprise, didn't it? Eh, uh, no. I just couldn't keep it in anymore. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. Mm -hmm. But you kept this from me. A murder? I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. Your family My mother now. hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my... Mm. I, I don't know. i probably just side with her, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with this. My life was crumbling around me. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it. But I do understand it. Thank you. That means a lot. I mm -hmm. couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? Go from where? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rather than us working together. If you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. You need someone to teach you. Yay. You, you're giving me a second chance? Yeah. Think of it more as a sentence. You'll have to work hard for your redemption. Ouch. My body hurts. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's get started. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Let's, let's get out of here. Wayne Manor. What's going on here? The I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Mm. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? What do you mean? Saying goodbye. 
Goodbye, where? I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Like we talked about. Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather mm. think this vacation will be permanent. Seriously? But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. So, take a back seat from the operations. Put your feet up for a while. Keep us stocked with cucumber sandwiches and tea. And just stand idly by while your enemies rend you limb from limb. Do a little dusting while you bleed out on the bat cave floor. Yes, I don't think so. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore. At least not to me. So what are you now saying? Now everything has become so grey. <laughs> grey? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. Damn. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. I'll admit that wasn't our finest moment, but at the time it seemed like our best course of action. Precisely my point. Our best judgment is no longer good enough. You got a point. You empowered John Doe, kept him close when you should have put him away, inspired him to become something far more dangerous than he ever was. What's Sorry. your point? Sometimes it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. Mm -hmm. A dreadful thought, I know. But one that keeps me awake at night. Oh, please. There were plenty of criminals around before Batman showed up. I put most of them in jail. Two-Face, Cobblepot, Lady Arkham, Joker. All they have in common is you. Anyone? Okay. Really, bro? You're just gonna say that right now? This guy. Seriously, man? who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. We put her in danger on her first day. Dodging That's machine guns at a crime scene. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. Mm. That's a price I'm willing to pay. In war, there are always casualties. But it doesn't mean you give up the fight. I've served in my share of wars, Bruce. More even than you. There okay. are some fights you cannot win. And is this, is one this thing one is of them? for certain. My tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. I stopped the minute I made the decision to go. Wow. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. Really? The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Okay. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Mm -hmm. Just like you. Not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Alfred, these comparisons... You knew the evil my father was capable of. You think you see that in me? I said nothing about evil, Bruce. Then what are you saying? I'm saying you'll end up in the same place. Oh. Face down in an alley. Shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. Okay. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, 
like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I'm sorry. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. Hmm. Are you leaving? Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. Is he actually leaving? You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. I can change. Mm. Alfred, wait. Would you stay if I promised things would be different? Is that a promise you can keep? Like you said, there are a lot of ways to help. I'm sure the city could use a man of my talent and resources. Are you Yay. sure about this? Yes, I'll I do promise. whatever it takes to keep our family together, Al. Even this. So please. Tell me you'll stay. Please stay. Oh, maybe just one more night. Yes. That's good to hear. Sorry, I'm not really Batman anymore. I quit. Same stitch. Okay. Continue. Harley Quinn. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. Eight, okay, agent, agency asset Harley Quinn. You and fifty point one percent of players dismissed her importance to the agency. Harley was a was as ecstatic that the heist Wayne at Wayne Enterprises went off without a hitch. <clears throat> she loved that Bane was left behind at the convoy raid, allowing her to take control of the pact. Harley felt a, monet, a momentary uh, sadness when you admitted your treachery, but still, wait, but still condemned you to death. Why? Harley was heartbroken when you convinced uh, John to subdue her. That was that one well, actually. While she still works for the agency, Harley worries she still uh, worries she's just another one of uh, Waller's pawns. Okay. Well, that's gone. <clears throat> Amanda Waller. Thunderbolt! I'm the whole goddamn hurricane. Yeah. Okay. Director of the agency, Amanda Waller, you and 15.2% of players more or less made peace with her. No, okay. At least we made peace with her. Waller was furious that you tampered with her witness after Riddler's first resurfaced in Gotham. She disapproved of you calling Gordon after your first fight with Bane, Waller was beyond angry when you blew your cover with the pact. She declared you an enemy of the state for siding with John Doe on the Gotham Bridge. Though you're a stalemate with Waller's stance, she was surprised you didn't judge her for her actions. Okay. 
Jim Gordon. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it! Partners, Jim Gordon. You and 59.6% of players accepted joke. Uh, did I say Jim Gordon? Oh, never mind. I thought I said Jim Jordan, but it's Jim Gordon. Okay, uh, accepted Gordon's apology. Gordon was humbled that you would trust him with your secret association with Lucius Fox. When Waller berated you for tampering with her witness, Maury Gordon uh, supported you. He felt trusted uh, when you called him Falling Pain's initial attack. Gordon was disgusted that you sided with a criminal catwoman instead of the law. He was grateful when you forgave him for losing his self-control and letting Walk uh, Waller get to him. Who's the next person? Catwoman? Uh oh. I weighed my options and what can I say? Patience, I don't like to lose. Wait, she's still, she's, she's still captured? Oh yeah, I forgot to like... I'm so sorry. You and 23.5% of players said you loved her but didn't gain her release. Oh. So sad. Sorry. I sided with the other lady. I apologize. After her return to Gotham, Selena was relieved when you said you thought redemption was possible. She was touched when she was touched. Uh, you went against Gordon to warn her the Jeep, uh, the GCPD was uh, was on her tail. She was honored to be invited to the Batcave, your secret sanctum. Selena was horrified that Harley sentenced you to death. When you blew your cover with the pact. Though you love her, you made no deals with have Selena removed from Walkers. I'm so sorry. That ain't happening. Because I it was either you or the other lady I forgot her name. Tiffany Fox. I won't let you down. Roller J Tiffany Fox. You and 80.6% of players took Tiffany under your wing. Tiffany felt betrayed when you admitted your in involvement in Lu Lucius's death. Uh, she was worried for you when you told her to hide while you helped Harley steal the phal uh, phalanx key. After she realized you were working with the agency, she regretted calling the GCPD on you. She was... Uh, at first confused, but then completely blown away when you told her you were Batman. Now Tiffany is re re repenting for the murder of Riddler under your watchful mentorship. But I'm not Batman anymore, so... What mentorship? Yay, Iman of Estes. I'm really insane. You're C drawn to them, Whoa. aren't you? Okay, CEO Wayne of... Enterprises. Okay. You and 54.9% of players asked her to come work for you. I mean, yay. At least she's, she's like, now, uh, not like dead. Avesta was traumatized by Riddler's game and the loss of her earring. She was thankful you let it slide when she admitted she revealed your secret identity to Waller. Avesta was intrigued that you trusted John Doe to find Harley after she escaped Sanctus. After helping you black, uh, after helping you blackmail Waller, Avesta is hopeful about her new position at the at Wayne Enterprises. Hey, you're welcome. Alfred, if a man hides in plain anywhere. sight for that long. Does he forget who he really is? You and 36.3% of players gave up the mantle of Batman. Damn, that's a low percentage right there. After he watched the footage of Lucius, uh, Lucius's violent demise, Alfred was filled with vengeance. When you told Tiffany your secret, Alfred was relieved. He no longer had to keep it from her. After collapsing... 
in the bath cave alfred felt reassured when you agreed that he needed a vacation he soon became gravely concerned about batman's continuing influence on the vigilante joker when he decided to give up the cowl uh, alfred became cautiously optimistic about your shared future uh okay Sh at least he's family now you know we're not i'm not batman anymore <laughs> Joker! We're two threads in the same stitch, found Fa together, even under strain. Okay. Fallen friend. You and 54% of players told Joker you were still friends. Damn, that's half of the people. Uh, John was annoyed when you blew him off Lucius's funeral, refusing to meet his friends. He was proud that he brought you into the pack. He brought you to the pack, the resulting in successful raid on the agency convoy. John was shocked you blew your cover with Harley, inviting her wrath. After you trusted him in the funhouse, John devoted himself to helping you clean up Gotham. Joker thinks you are as crazy as he is for considering yourselves friends. Hey, we're friends, buddy. Did you save Willie or Agent Harrison? You and 70% of players saved Willie. I'm sorry. Harrison. Did you take Tiffany into the field with you? You and 77% of players took Tiffany out into the field and she was leading, so. Did you agree to hand over Joker to all of you and 68.5% of refused to hand over Joker to all of Did you give up the cowl so Alfred could stay? You and 36.3% of players told Alfred you would give up being Batman. 5.7 players refused to hear Alfred's last words. What? How does that even work? Did he just like fly away or something? 58% of players chose never to give up being Batman. That's insane. But I'm just confused about this one here. They do the <laughs> if this is like, hey, you never give up never give up Batman, and here is like Okay, I'm giving up Batman. Here's like, I don't care what you say. Okay, I'm confused about the middle one. Which Joker did you defeat? You and 55.1% defeated the Vigilante Joker. You and 70% of players saved Willie. You and 77% of players took Tiffany out on the field. You and 68% of players refused to hand over Joker to Walker. You and 36.3% of players told Alfred you will Give up being Batman and you and 55.1% of players defeated Vigilante Joe. Cool. Voters collected. What? Okay, I'm going to continue. See what happens. Is there like a after scene? There is. Okay. Hello, Joker. Visitor for John Doe. Bruce! <laughs> Told you were friends. Yeah, that was fun. I kind of enjoyed that, to be honest. Okay. That was a fun game. I want to see how many, like... That was actually a really fun game. Seven hours of streaming. Hmm. Hmm. 
I actually enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna stop here though. It was fun. Gonna probably play another game. I don't know what to play next. Okay. Yeah, I fit it. Okay, that's Dark Souls 3 is gonna take forever. I don't know, I'm just going down the list. Fallout 4? Fallout 76? Tales of Arise? Tell me why. It's in here since. No, just do, do. Okay. I already finished Cyberpunk. I already finished Cyberpunk, so I don't need to play Cyberpunk. Um. Hmm. You know what? Since I'm going down the list, right? I can't play Bully because Bully is like just uh, the whole game just messes up. I don't know why. And I only have like. I already played it like years ago and not on Xbox, so when I got the one on PC, it's just unplayable for some reason. I already finished Black Flag. Okay, I think the next game is Dragon Art, Dragon Age Origins. Because I didn't finish that game. And it, it will feel unright not to finish this game. Hmm. I mean, it will not feel right. I don't know what I'm ta I'm seven hours of streaming and I am so out of it right now. So what I can do is I will probably be play Dragon Age Origins and see how far I get in that game today. Hmm. Then the next game after that will be Mafia 2 And after Mafia 2 Dark Souls That's a lot of games that I could so many games mm. Yeah, uh, we'll see like right now. I'm just gonna Hop on dragon. I'm gonna install dragon age origins. I mean ultimate origins, whatever See how far I can go with the game uh hope you guys enjoyed i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you guys next time take care bye